Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to craft Astral Presence in Voxel Blade. Uh, before I start off, I'm going to show you the requirements and then I'm going to craft them myself and all that good stuff. I'm going to show you how to find the Travelling Merchant, uh, how to get the other thing you need. I can't quite remember the name. But before I continue anymore, uh, if I remember, I'm going to put this private server link in the pinned comment. Uh, so if you want a free Voxel Blade private server, it should be in the pinned comment as long as YouTube allows that. But to craft the Astral Presence, you need to come all the way over to this crafting grid. Uh, there's normally one in each town. Uh, this is the desert. Uh, so you can just look for it in the desert uh, but there's also one in the start of uh, uh, town there's one pretty much almost everywhere uh, so once you found one of them if you come all the way down to the bottom you'll see there's astral presence and there's brilliant presence i don't really know what brilliant presence do maybe they're better drop but it's an astral presence i don't know i also don't know how to get the brilliant gem but today i'm going to be showing you how to get astral presence now the first requirement is you need to be crafting level 25 and i'm going to tell you my recommendation on how to do that right now uh, but then you're also going to need astral wrapper paper and this binding orb. But first off, to get to crafting level 25, I recommend to, if we go all the way back up to the top, to craft these health potions. I It says I can't craft any right now. Uh, I can. I have some prickly pears on me. Uh, just make sure whenever you're crafting, you have it unfavorited. Otherwise, it will say you have none of that item. I recommend getting a bunch of prickly pears and just spam crafting health potions. See, I'm the tiniest bit away now. Uh, so I am very, very close. I just like very... I just like favoriting them just because it's easy to see how many I've got. Uh, and then you also need these binding orbs and astral wrapping paper. The binding orbs, if you come onto the crafting place again, you get them at craft level 10. You can craft these. You need a, a blinded or binded corruption and a cleansing tier, which the binded corruption, uh, it drops some corrupted mobs at um, when you went. The mobs that have the purple names, they drop from them basically. And this uh, cleansing tier, let me go show you how to get that real quick. Uh, so we're in the desert right now because this is where cactus is born, which is how you, what you need for uh, cacti or prickly prick, prickly pear. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, that's what you need for prickly pears, basically, uh, which is uh, the key ingredient to making health potions. But uh, this is the inn in the desert. I'm just going to show you how to get the cleansing tier if you do not know. It's basically from the church. You need 500 cash uh, to buy one. So you're going to want to come out of the desert if you're in the desert and go to the plains. Also, depending on where you start from, it depends on the different path it takes you to get there. Uh, but it's pretty much right next to the um, the uh, place where you do the sword quest at the very beginning of the game. Uh, that is the start of town up there. It is right down here. It is right there. And here's a little trick as well. If you say you come from the back like I am and you can't be bothered going to the door, uh, just go to the window. I just roll through it. You can just go through there. Uh, this is the guy where you join the church at. But you want this. This is the cleansing tier for 500 voxels. Uh, I believe that's the currency name. Uh, and that's how you get the cleansing tier. Uh, combine that with the binded corruption. And you can make the uh, the orb thing that you need to uh, craft the presents. Uh, now you also need draft paper as well. Which I'm going to show you uh, how you get that in a minute. Uh, but let's just go up to the start of town. Because even though this isn't a crafting guide. I want to show you the best way to get these pretty quickly. Uh, which requires you to get crafting level 25 which as I said before requires you to craft health potions uh, if you want to do it quickly enough now prickly pears can be kind of a pain to drop however if you craft the armor I have right now the looters gear not only will it up your crafting level uh, but it also gives you this perk uh, trophy hunter I believe that is it uh, which allows you I'm not too sure of the exact specification but it also basically allows you to have a higher chance of uh, the mobs dropping any crafting items so if i fought that roof over there uh, i would get a wolf drop a uh, more higher chance at least not guaranteed but it is a higher chance uh, you basically get this armor uh, by getting i think it's rabbit's fur you need i'm not sure i'll check it in in a minute basically if you go to this village uh, i was playing with someone else in this private server uh, the other day and they didn't even know there's a shop in this first village so this shop's right here uh, i believe it's this stuff yeah, the backpack berserker and just all this stuff basically uh, and then if you go over to the crafting area which is right here you can craft looted gear which requires buddy fur and uh, this backpack stuff which you buy from that shop and you can craft looters gear which gives you this trophy hunter plus heat resistance and cold resistance and a nice speed boost so it is pretty good pretty good but yes that is how i recommend you level up your crafting uh, gear uh, and I just showed you how to get the cleansing tier. Yeah, there it is. Binding up. Uh, so, you get the binding corruption, which is a drop from corrupted mobs. There is a void event, which I think it's uh, like makes them spawn more frequently. Uh, but it's not too hard to get that. And the cleansing tier is very, very easy to get. Now, 
the other thing we need is this astral wrapping paper, which I have four of it. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to get that. Now, if you want a big chunk of it, you're going to need a lot of money because it costs 1,000 voxels each. And what you do is you basically buy it from the traveling merchant, which I'm going to give you a little hint as well. A little like thing. I'm not too sure about this, but I'm not too sure if it is actually traveling. Because every time I go into private server, it's obviously in a different spot. Uh, but I come back after an hour or so and it is still in that same spot. So if you have a private server, then you can just go buy one, come back once you've got another thousand and boom, you're, you're, you're good. Uh, you can easily just keep repeating that. As long as it doesn't move. I haven't seen it move, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to show you four locations of the traveling merchant that I know of. Uh, they're pretty easy to get to. Uh, two of them are quite near each other. So if you are farming, um, say he does move about and you don't know where he spawned in that server yet. Uh, if you're farming prickly pears for health potions, uh, then I'd recommend rotating between these first two because they are very, very near each other. Uh, but then the other two are also pretty near each other as well. So if you are in the flower fields, you can also rotate between them as well, I guess. So what you're going to want to do is come towards the desert. Uh, this is how I like to get there at least. You're just coming towards the desert. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go towards the overgrown place, the uh, place with the void roots, the boulders, all that good stuff. So you want to go ahead as if you're heading towards the inn. So this is the inn right there uh, that you would have just passed. Keep following these rocks upwards until you make it to the overgrown uh, place, uh, whatever it's called. The dark roots, maybe, I don't know. Here we go, to this cave now. And you'll make it to the Deadlands, that's what it's called, the Deadlands. This is uh, spot number one where I know he can spawn. Uh, now, there probably is more than four spots, however, I only know of four spots. And I haven't actually seen him spawn here, so I'm not sure of the exact area. However, the other three locations, I know exactly where he spawns at that spot. You want to go ahead and climb up this ladder across this bridge. And I believe he can spawn anywhere around here. Uh, near maybe these stalls. Uh, maybe, probably not down here, but somewhere around this area. If you just look out for him, you should be able to find him. If he is there, at least. Now, for the next location, uh, just basically walk back to where you came uh, and just head towards the inn and it's basically just in that direction as if you were heading towards Magus or Magus. Here we are. You can just jump down. You don't actually need to follow the path exactly. It's a lot easier on the way down as well. Uh, you don't even need to go that way. You can, uh, when you get a bit further down, you can always just jump down onto this bit as well. Do some parkour across here. Might make it a little bit quicker. I'm not too sure. Just go wherever you find the best. Yeah, basically just head in this direction as you are heading back up towards the inn. And you want to go between this cave here, in this little hole here. Which is also the direction towards Magus. And on that rock, uh, right down there, is where he was born. He's quite big as well, so he's really uh, easy, like not easy to miss. So he spawns basically right there. That is spot number two. Now for spot number three, we are going to be heading towards the flower fields. Uh, which if you keep following me this way, this way I've gone this way, because this is a nice easy rotation if you just want to try and find him. Uh, you can just go this way. And you see where that pink flower is? In that uh, area there. Right there, he can spawn in there as well. Right in that crevice. That was the first spot I found him in, so he definitely spawns there. Now, for the final location I know he spawns in, you might know any other places. If you know any other places and you want like to share them in the comments, let us know. Because uh, other people might find it useful uh, if they want to get this astral wrapping paper quickly. Come up here. See, he is still here for me. Which is why I think he only spawns uh, at a certain point in each server. Uh, so if this server got restarted, he wouldn't be here, he'll be in a different point, he would stay there until the server closes. Because I found this guy maybe originally at about between 11 and 1 o'clock, and it is currently now 25 to 4. So he's been here a long time. But you can see, there's astral wrapping paper there for 1,000 voxels. He also uh, crafts some other stuff uh, as well. These, I think, are random, but he always has uh, astral wrapping paper on him. Okay, now you've got that, uh, you should have astral wrapping paper. If you don't have at this point, uh, just uh, come back later on come back watch the video later on once you have all the required materials now you got the required materials you can now craft uh, the astral feathers you now have everything you need to once you're crafting level 25 uh, you have the binding uh, the uh, this thing 
a binding orb, and wrapping paper, you can now craft a present. Uh, while I farm these last characters to get these last few quickie pairs, uh, I probably should tell you as well. As I said at the start, I am going to add in the private server link um, into pink comment if anyone wants to join. However, there has also been some guy uh, that, not sure if it was for a joke or what, uh, but I was in the server at this point, some of my friends were, and they said uh, that there was this guy pretending to be me, uh, and he was offering out free Robux. Uh, so I'm just going to say, if you find that guy, do not like accept whatever offer that guy is offering. It is not true. You can see here, this guy Solar Chad is asking how did uh, they get my PS, even though it was my private server. And you can see here, this guy Solar Chad and this Kliev guy, mainly Solar Chad, but also Kliev. I, I, I don't really know who he was doing. To be fair, I look saying I'm Lucas Denner, blah 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 blah. Yeah, uh, he was offering up Robux and stuff. Uh, and then my friends went ahead and tracked him down. They had his Roblox username. They then went ahead and just ended up finding his Discord profile as well. So, yeah. Don't know how that happened, but that was some detective privacy right there. Awesome. So now, if we craft this last button. Crafting level 25. Before I craft these, let me just go over what you need again. For an astral present. Basically, you need a binding orb and astral wrapping paper. Get the binding orb uh, by... Uh, getting this, which drops the corrupted mobs. Getting this, which can be bought at the church. An astral map and paper can be bought from the travelling uh, merchant, which I showed you some of his locations as well. There we go, we can craft astral presents, which will also get us XP to getting these brilliant presents, which I don't really know what they do, but yeah. There you go, see, one level per astral present. Look at that, almost already crafted level 30 as well. We go here, we have four astral presents. Ooh, a present, open it up. Let's use and see what we get. Star Guardian Helmet. I'm kind of wanting the blade, but... Star... I got the same thing again. I got the leggings. And I got his out. Stacked plate weight. Ooh. I didn't really get anything that I wanted. I kind of wanted the blades, to be fair. Or the guns or whatever. Let's just see what we got. Star Guardian Leggings. Hex, defense, hex boost, holy boost, warding, star friendship. Let's equip that. Anyway, that is it for this video. Hope you. Oh, wow. I just realized what I look like. Yo. Yo, that looks awesome. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe. Join the Discord link in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.